Welcome, 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 guys. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, there's always a little bit of shenanigans trying to get this thing started. <laughs> you'd think we'd have this down. <laughs> well, oh, here, let me move my, blue, my Bluetooth in my other ear. Oh, I'm more cosmetically ready for the show. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's, uh, it's I got everything ready. Time. I hit the, 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 we got the stream started on YouTube and I was ready to hit the button. And everything went away for a second. At least on my, at least on my Bluetooth it did. I thought, are we streaming? Are we not? What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> I know, and we always like go to YouTube first, and it's so weird. It's yeah. like it makes it a little awkward. But. Yeah, so if you ever want to hear shenanigans, um, we always start the stream on YouTube. I always cut it off the next day. But. Yeah. <laughs> but happy Dad's Day weekend almost here, guys. Yay. Wow. Yes, I know. Today's... I'm looking forward to it, man. My, uh... You already got your Dad's Day kid. I know, I'm telling you what. I'm going <laughs> to... We'll be using it all day tomorrow. Um, we're we're, we're going to go to um, the lake. My my dad loves fishing. He loves doing things like that outdoorsy, and um, so we're going to go out and spend some time with him this weekend. And um, and I've never done this before, but I'm going to try to smoke him a brisket. I've never done that, but um, tomorrow, um, I'm going to be um, painting in the studio and every couple hours running outside to do whatever you do when you smoke a brisket. I'm not yeah. sure. <laughs> It ought to be interesting, but oh, oh, and I started a brand new painting today, guys. Um, here, let me let me show you this. Let me back up a little bit. So I started this elephant painting, and it's really big. So let's see. Yeah, this is an eye. That's my hand. It's like 40 inches tall. Um, it's gonna be a big one. And don't judge it. <laughs> it's gonna change. I started today. I I, I put down um, the black lines, and <laughs> I um. Don't you judge it. <laughs> I put the black lines down, and and now I'm, I'm blocking out the color. But I'm, I'm pretty excited about it to share it with you tonight because I talk a lot about blocking out color. But um, but tonight, though, I thought this would be a really great painting just to really um, explore what what that means and how, yeah. how you can do it. Because um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a way that makes your painting a lot more... A lot more easier. Yeah. A lot, a lot easier, and um, and I don't. And it makes it fun to do, and lets you be able to build up your painting. So, um, so I'll, and it's not complex at all. So I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how I do that, and um. Well, you should go right into it because I'm having some difficulty sharing everything on Facebook. So oh. give me a minute if you want to go back to your painting. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so Buy me some time, man. Are, but we are streaming, though, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay, just trying cool, to share cool. it, and it cut. My phone is is like cutting off. Oh yeah, because I I um I um thought I thought when my my my, my Bluetooth thing was freaked out, I thought we were streaming. I thought it said like you're doing it, but I, but I might have misheard that. I don't know. But okay, elephant time. But I, I want to say before we start. I'm really excited that it's, it's Dad's Day weekend. I, I have the best dad. He's just the – love him, love him, but he's just an incredibly sweet, gentle, strong man. And um, this and this painting is – you know, it's a great painting to work on when it comes to my dad because um, if he was an animal, I think he'd be like a bull elephant. He'd be quiet, <laughs> um, you know, just strong, sturdy. Statuesque and – Statuesque, yeah. Yeah, but, um, oh, I wonder – very, very dependable. He's got a great memory as well. <laughs> and, um, but, um, but just, you know, you can always depend on him, but he's also like, um, not, I, I don't know. I don't like, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, like he's, he's like a man. He's a manly guy. Like he fishes. He, you know, when he was younger, he went hunting, all this sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah. What, what is a good word for that? Cause he, he's like, it's like that quiet sort of. Yeah. It's, it, wise yet you know mm -hmm. that he's sensitive <laughs> yeah he's sensitive like, he probably he, he was like reads, cringing like, he's, he's and a all huge this reader he reads it reads every day it's what he does for pleasure he, but he's super sweet super kind um very quiet spoken great sense of humor you know just this this wonderful guy and um but so this is a great painting to work on you know with this and um it's one of those people that you know that you have in your life that you know no matter what you know you can call them anytime and you're like oh my gosh the car's making a weird sound. I mean, it's three I in had, the morning. I had, <laughs> I had to call him today about the car. <laughs> uh, it's always something, I swear. Oh my goodness, yeah, um, yeah, oh yeah, our Jeep. Um, it started making a weird sound yesterday, and it turns out it's just like the brakes or the the stuff in the brakes that we had we had that worked on today, and it might need a little more work, but it's nothing too serious. You know, something like 
you know, like, oh, you need a new in engine, but I did get on, and I was just looking up um, what it would be like if, if the car was worse off than what it was, and it's fine, but to get it to get another car, and um, and I noticed, like, the slogan for Jeep is, do anything. Except one. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, yeah, do anything, except <laughs> maybe ha except have a conversation while you're driving down the That's road. true. That's um, true. We, we've got a soft top Jeep with the giant wheels, and the, the big wheels make extra noise, and the soft top, you can hear everything, and... Of course, it's built for torque anyway, so when you're going like, like 60, 65 down the highway, it just... <laughs> I know. It's, you know... We, it's, we're kind of used to it now. Yeah, well, I... And, you know, it's my preference, so I'm the one that, you know, made this happen. <laughs> so... It, it is funny, though, because, like... You can't really make any phone calls in the in the Jeep or anything in the car, and I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think people understand that sometimes, because, like... You know, if you're on a, a long road, road trip, you know, somebody calls or something, they're like, oh, yeah, come, you know, and, oh, I, I couldn't talk to you. I was in the car. And they're like, well, <laughs> you weren't driving. I was like, no, I don't drive, obviously, but, <laughs> but you got to understand, you have a little hurricane going on. <laughs> yes, it is loud. But, you know, just part of it. So, okay, with it, or, How's it coming with the Facebook? Well, we have a watch party going, which let me let me say, um, Greg Matthews has joined us. Says hello, new fan of yours. Love your work. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you so much. Um, Barbara Brands is with Skin. Hi there. Barbara. Um, and she says Renaissance man. And I wanted to give an extra thanks to to Barbara. She's a Patreon now, yep. and uh, we really appreciate that. And yeah, that is that, awesome. That's so cool. Thank thank you so much, Bar Barbara. That that was so sweet. Man. So I'm still trying to, okay, I'm still trying, here we go, sorry. My, my, it's the Facebook on my phone is just oh. taking its sweet time. All right, here we go, here we go. So, Can and we then, try to do it on my phone? No, I got it, I got it. So Josie has joined us and says hello. <laughs> Kylie Sykes has joined us, says hello, hello. And Tiffany says good evening to you both. So, oh. Oh, Kylie, hey guys. Well, thank you. Oh, Kylie, and um, I, I, I saw a message from you, and I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm terrible with messages on Facebook. Um, and everybody actually, but, but Kylie, your, your message is older, but I'm horrible with the app for my Facebook or the thing doesn't work that great. Um, but then, uh, but, but I noticed it because we, 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 we've received like hundreds of emails and stuff since that, that, um, TV thing, um, to tell the truth yeah. when it went on and, um, um, and, and messages and I was just trying to get a grip on it. Jackie has been, gosh, about all she's been doing is answering emails and stuff. Last, yeah, and since last dictating Thursday. to you, or you dictating to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? Just and hang then, out and be like, what do I say next? But but it's been ridiculous, and we haven't even gotten to the, the to the social media messages yeah. or anything. So we we yeah. just been inundated. Although we had, we had a fun thing, um, um, Ron and, and Barb, which oh, yeah. which is on here a lot, came came by there. They don't they don't live in in, in in Texas, but they they travel a lot for their job, and they they they've been able to stop into the studio yeah. before, and they came by. Yeah, it was awesome. They were driving through from Louisville, and um, you know, Ron's the one that you can blame last, you know, video on with the dad jokes and. Oh yeah, stuff. yeah, that's right. He um, brought all the dad jokes. Yeah, that was good to see them. Um, but it's, Mar it's Mar so cool to see them again. Yeah, uh, Maureen Clark has joined us. Says, "Hey guys, I definitely want to get a copy of that big elephant." And oh, then, cool. um, oh. by the way, where can I get the link to the TV show slash episode? Um, you know, um, I, it, it's I, on, it's on, it's on a ABC. It's on their website and it, it's free. If you, if you have a, um, you know, if you, if you put in like your cable information and all that in there, yeah, um, our, ours, like our password and all that, it's all messed up. So we, we couldn't do that, but, um, but it's on, it's on the ABC web website and, but, um, I know, and that's, uh, you know, I wish I could say, oh, it was on Netflix, you know, it'd be, it'd be so easy to, yeah. say, it'd be easier to view if it was like on Netflix I, or YouTube or something like that. Yeah, but, you know. we do have a, we, like, I made a version of, of all the, like, I videotaped it and then made a version all together of all, and put it on YouTube, but it's a hidden link because it's copyrighted, mm. but, um, I mean, I, I would say I could, I could probably share it if somebody emailed <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> but if you pay for regular cable or you have network, just network cable, um, it's it's ABC. And if you go to their their website link, um, 
they they put those shows on and you can watch them at your own pace. Which is kind of cool if you wanted to do that because then because then you can go and you can watch all of their their programming and stuff. Which is, That's true. Yeah, I get on there and neat. watch some terrible reality TV. So let's be honest. <laughs> um, well, Barbara Brand says I didn't want to miss anything, referring to uh, the Patreon stuff. So with oh. Patreon, you get like behind the scenes and some projects that we don't normally talk about because we're technically not allowed. So. Um, that's, you know, that's always fun. Uh, and, um, oh, and then she says, uh, that was so funny when he asked you if you saw any sharks and you said, I didn't see anything. <laughs> oh yeah. It's funny when I said that, I, I wasn't even think, thinking about it at first. Cause then I was, and then I thought, oh yeah, well obviously that was, that was a dumb thing to say for me to say, <laughs> but, uh, but, well, I mean, uh, you didn't, you yeah, wouldn't yeah, have seen anything. So <laughs> I didn't see anything. Um, but, oh, and Mike's joined us, says, I couldn't watch because I don't have cable. Um, it was on ABC, so technically it was network. If you just have general, I know, like, we don't, it was weird for us, too, because we don't normally watch TV. We, um, like, everything is through the smart TV. It's Netflix, Hulu, all that stuff. So when we were going to, like, sit down to watch it, we had to switch all of our stuff over to regular network, t- <laughs> you know, like, yeah. it was just weird. So, yeah, it's, it's funny how... I don't know, you just, if you don't normally watch it, it's not going to be something on your radar. Yeah, like for our, our setup, we just, um, um, and it's kind of nice for me because I can't I can't read a guide, but on our phones and all that, I, I can read all that with my apps. So I've just gotten so used to just, re, you know, listening to Netflix and, um, and, but, you know, we're not one of those people that say, oh, we never watch TV because we have better things to do. We watch a lot of stuff, you know, we listen to a lot of stuff, but it's just not through like uh, cable usually is through the online services. Yeah. yeah. And, um, but, um, only about once or twice a year do we switch over to the cable thing. We only have cable because we, it, we're, where we live. Um, the only way to get high speed internet is to bundle it through your cable. So, yeah. You're, you're forced to do so that. So we have the basic, but, but, but every time we, the only time we ever listen to it is, um, you always want to see like the, the, the parades, like yeah. uh, the, the Thanksgiving day parade and the new yeah. year's day parade. And then it's it's been so long since we switched everything over. We always have to kind of relearn how to how to do how to switch it switch it back to TV. <laughs> I know the tuner, oh, the tuner's beyond me. But um, Melissa Buckland has joined us and says you can see it on Hulu. So if you oh. have Hulu, apparently they run to tell the truth on that, and you really? can watch it on that. Yeah, we have Hulu. We have Hulu, but I don't watch. I don't normally watch to tell the truth, so I don't. I didn't know where it was going to exist. I would know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't. I, I didn't watch it before, but I, I, I would like to see more of them now because. Well, I thought what was funny it's kind of about a fun format. It was. Yeah, it, it, it was fun. It was fun, and and I'll be honest. Like when we were there, I, you know what? I, and this is going to sound weird. I liked it better watching it on TV than being in the audience, because in the audience it was like. I, you know, it was a little racy, not that I'm, you know, not a fan of racy, but it was like, I was a little surprised. I was kind of like, wow, that, that, that's a, it's a, that's a crazy joke right there. But then, then apparently they cut all that out. So they're, they're just like naturally like make w- crazy jokes on the show. And then it's cut for obviously ABC. So which I is that funny because was- it was really funny there. Like, like the yeah. most, most of the funny joke, I mean, not, not just the racy stuff, but a lot of the funny stuff was cut. Oh, that's true. I mean, it, is, it, it. I mean, they they filmed for like two hours, and then you only get like a thirty minute show out of it. But um, uh, Josie says, "Is there a title to find it?" Um, it's it's a third episode. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's it's. I believe the the main thing that they were selling on the episode, like if you go to like the clip, was the astronaut. The astronaut. That and, was, and and the sword, the sword swallower. Oh, the sword swallower. You're because right. Because they they made a lot of jokes. About the sword swallower too, they they were kind of racy, yeah, and all that got cut, which 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 is too bad because Kevin Nealon and Mark Mark, <laughs> yeah. Mark 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 Duplass and all that were just making all this joke after joke after yeah. joke, and none of it made it. Oh, that's funny. But. Well, um, I will say if anybody is, it can't find it or is curious, if you want to send us a message, I I could probably finagle some sort of way to share it with you guys. Um, but thanks for the interest, guys. Yeah. I appreciate that. It's it's been. I honestly didn't think anybody would really notice or they're thinking, you know, like it wouldn't be that, you know, for us it was just sort of a lark. It was like a fun thing and it was just fun to do and and um you know they'll be like oh yeah you know it's like you know a little a little story you're like oh we went to L A and did yeah. this yeah yeah it was a trip um, it was fun but it's but it's been so much it's been so cool though the response that, that we've that we've gotten from it yeah shocking but really cool really really cool. Um, 
Well, Melissa says the network channels are um, on Hulu, so... What? See? Well, I didn't... That's... I, I, <laughs> you learn something every day? I know. I tell you. I, well, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. We might watch more regular TV now. I know. Well, it, yeah. It's funny, too, because I'll, I'll watch some of the ridiculous reality TV, and I'll go to their website and get a login and all that stuff. I didn't think to, like, go into Hulu, because we... Everything on Hulu is that we watch is like the weird obscure stuff that yeah. like that is the Kate more the cable channels. Like right now we're watching a lot of Superstore. And I'll and I and I'll be honest, um um I, I stopped watching a lot of just regular programming on TV whenever whenever we got into into binge watching cuz Yeah. You know, it's so it's, it's so nice to be able to, to watch a whole season or of something, and especially if it, it's one that has more of a, of a complicated story. Yeah. You know, like Game Game of Thrones or something, you know, where you have all all, all these char- characters, and then um, you know, and you're trying to remember from like you miss you miss a couple weeks, and you're thinking, who died? What? Who was the king of what? Now? Oh man, Game of Thrones is the worst because you can't even pronounce their names, let alone them dying every week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're just sort of making up names. It's like. <laughs> Little blonde guy we don't like. <laughs> so mean everybody, the king and the little. <laughs> yeah. Well, Kristen Cram has joined us and she sends heart emojis. Oh, thank you. Um, and um, Greg asks, have you ever done a yellow lab wearing glasses? Yes. You no, know. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Have I? Yeah. Because I've done a boxer and I've done a chihuahua. The It was the very first. Okay. It was the first. It's called Eagle. It's called. It's. It's. And she's wearing glasses? Yeah. Gosh, it's scary what I don't remember sometimes. Yeah, it was it was the first painting that you technically did of Eagle. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, but it For doesn't... Pinks and... Okay, I remember. Right, right, right. right. Okay, okay oh, now cool. you remember. Well, Greg says, I love your dog stuff and need to get one for our uh, senior do- dog sanctuary. That sounds cool. Oh, well, that, that, that's awesome. Well, well, thank you. Thank you. And um, I, 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 I appreciate that so much. Um, Barbara says your elephant looks 3D. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, and uh, you know I, I should I, I should talk about this and you you have some cool well, Dad's Day things to do, but yeah, I'm curious. I'm I'm curious from Greg what a senior dog sanctuary consists of. That sounds oh yeah, so it's awesome. like for re- for dogs that are retired and it's like you know do they. I mean, maybe it's, they have like maybe, a little lawn just so the old dogs can lay in front of it and, and, <laughs> and, and get the and yell at all bark the puppies. The... <laughs> get off my lawn! <laughs> no, but I, I I wonder if it's like they're almost like a shelter where they have like, but it's for senior dogs and they. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he'll he'll let us know. That's with, that's with pretty awesome. Their life? Yeah. You know, that's that's that that is such a brilliant thing. I I, I worked at a, at a at a dog shelter for for quite a while and then um, I had some land and I turned part of it into a dog shelter just for an overflow so that, you know, um, you know, so when it was needed, we, we had space to be able to put more dogs. And um, one of the things um, in the shelter that I worked for was a no kill shelter. But one of the, the things though is that, you know, you get dogs that are older and, and people aren't going to, you know, want to, want to, want to, want to adopt them. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, um, you know, in in the problem dogs, like I, I had a um oh I had, there was this one dog that came, that came through the shelter and it was a it was a basset hound, and something had happened to it when it was a puppy. I don't know if it had been beaten or, or something, but if there was any kind of loud noise or if anybody got upset or even just a slight bit of loud noise, he would piddle everywhere. <laughs> Other than that, it was the sweetest, the best dog. It was trained. It was Poor just thing. an amazing dog. But if somebody like you know if you drop something, piddle. You know, if somebody raised their voice just a little bit, piddle. And um, so I had, I had that dog for for a while in, 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 my, in my my house, and um, uh, in where everything was pretty quiet, <laughs> thankfully. But um, I never thought that he would be, he would get get to a home. But then there was this gentleman that came by, and he was an older gentleman, and um, and he just fell in love with the dog. He said, "I love this dog," and I said, "Well, you know, he has a wedding problem." He said, "Well, I'm getting older, and I kind of do too. So <laughs> we'll make, we'll make <laughs> a great funny. pair. <laughs> there's, just, there's just somebody for everyone in there. It's just that's cool. Well, Greg, in fact, says uh, we take unwanted senior dogs and give them a forever home. Currently, oh. we have eight. That's awesome. How cool that is, is that? brilliant. That is so cool. Well, man, man, that's awesome. That is so great to hear. You know, um, I do. I, I, um, I, I usually do a, a, do a dog charity every year. Like we'll." Um, we've done the, the for the guide dog school a yeah. couple of times, and we've done some different shelters and stuff. And maybe maybe we could do something to help support that. Sometime. Yeah, that sounds awesome. That's cool. really cool. 
So, um, I was going to tell you that you can probably put my camera back on since I'm not fiddling with my phone anymore. Is your camera off? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I, have, did I turn it off? Yeah, probably because I was fumbling with Oh, no, you know what? Phone. I bet I hit it Oh. or something. Sorry no, about that. Good. I'm the star, babe. I know, I know. I'm telling you. <laughs> Put me in back fact, on. In, in fact, in fact, in fact, we should get equal time there. I should. Yeah, there I you should go. turn you off for a while. <laughs> I know she's sneezing hard. I can't take it. Can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta shine, baby. <laughs> no, well, um, um, Jerry Ann uh, Bateman has joined us and says, "I volunteer at an animal shelter in my town. I love it." Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. You know what's funny is like with Jack. Um, you know, I wanted to get him volunteering and stuff. He's, well, he's 12 now. We looked into it when he was 11. And um, he wanted to go volunteer at the animal shelter. And their age, they can't start until they're 13. So we're excited to start volunteering next year you know, for the animal shelter. You know, he could he could probably start at a um, at a private shelter, though, if y'all were really wanting. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't. Like, like at a privately, you know, like. Because it just depends on the shelter, like who yeah. Owns I, get, it. I guess I never looked into that. Like I don't know of any private shelters that are around, but um, yeah, I don't either. When I did it, it was um, it wasn't it wasn't around here. Yeah. Huh. Well, um, Kylie Sykes says, "Where are you located, Greg? Um, we are looking for a a mate for our for my pup." Oh, that's, that's sweet. sweet. I should say because there we're on two different chats. Just to let you guys kind of know that we initially start the stream on John's um art page and then we do a watch party which forces it over to john's personal page so a lot of the comments come through on the art page so that's why i read them out and share them so um kylie sykes says where are you located greg we are looking for a mate for our pup oh yeah and i, and I should say if anybody, if anybody were we also stream live to youtube yeah and um but um we don't we don't we, we don't get usually as many as many people that are watching over on the youtube so so um the, the for the chat it's generally the, the the Facebook stream. So if, if you happen to be watching ever on YouTube, um, le at least for right now, um, um, you, you've got to go over. If you want to chat, you got to go over to the Facebooks. <laughs> and chatting, to, to be honest, that's 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 what makes it fun. It is. It is. Like I, I'm not I'd like you know we started doing these streams more since since the COVID thing. We kind of did it willy nilly here and there before. And um, and I was thinking the other day, I thought, if it weren't for the chat, I don't know, I don't know that I would want to be doing this because I mean, it, we we talk a lot, so I mean, yeah, I don't know if we could sit down and do it without other people, like more. Well, I mean, it's just you know, and it's fun. Like I don't know, it, make, it makes it fun. I, I like I like it when we play games and stuff. Um, but let me let me let me let me talk about the, this painting though, real quick okay. about this. So. The technique that I'm using for this painting, um, I, I, I could draw before I could walk. For some reason, drawing always made sense, sense to my brain. So, so whenever I start a painting, I, I generally illustrate it first, and I do that by using black paint that feel for me it feels a little sticky because I need to touch the paint to be able to know where I am. Um, so, if you're not visually impaired, then you would just use regular paint. But for me, I use this black paint that has a rubbery kind of sticky sort of feeling, dries really fast. But the main thing, though, is that I, I just I put a kind of a rough sort of um, sketch out of where of where I want the basic composition to be, but I also put in areas uh, that I that I think are going to be uh, lighter and darker. So so I want to be able to, to capture that. And sometimes for areas that are going to be really dark, I'll put I'll put little X's um, just so I know. Um, I used to I used to go in. I've tried different things, and I, I put in a bunch of braille over it, so I know. Oh, I want this to be red, so I put, I'd put in a little R in braille, and then I put. Um, but I, I don't, I don't really need to do that anymore. Like I used to, I used to do that a lot, but, um, so now though, what I'm doing, um, there's, there's several different ways that you can work on a painting, but one of the, I think, I think one of the ways that makes the most sense, at least to my, to my mind is to be able to, um, to block in a painting and you can do this like using, um, Various colors, like 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 you you can you can use it um, using grays, like black, whites, and grays, and be able to model in. Um, you can you can use browns, like the um, old masters. Yeah, yeah, like 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 the old masters. And the, and the big reason that, that they would do that instead of using all this color, just using one color, whether it's gray, whether it's brown, whether it's burnt sienna, you know, burnt umber, raw umber, um, is that is that you're only worrying you're only worrying about um, the lightness and darkness of the color. Because it's all the same color, so you're just making it lighter and darker, and that and that way it's the value. You know, it's you, you're only thinking about the light of it. So 
You're not having to think about all the different sort of sorts of things about color. So, since that makes it easier, why aren't I doing that? I'm here. <laughs> why aren't you? Well, because. <laughs> do tell. <laughs> There's a um, I, I, I do I do that some sometimes though. I will I will do do that, and it's a really nice way to be able to get um, um, a painting done. With this one though, um, I, I'm just using the value of different. Um, color so like so like for the reds i'll have, I'll have lighter reds and darker reds of oranges of yellows um so in my mind I'm, I'm making sure that i mix it so so that it's, it's lighter or darker so i so i'll still be able to get like a 3d effect when i'm done with it but i'm using these colors because at the end i want the colors to be extremely bright cool there's there's with, with the other if you're using the um the, the black and white you know and if you're using the browns you can go in with lots of washes and, and, and different things like that. And you can tint them, and you can make them bright. But this elephant is going to be crazy bright. That's awesome. But and, but it's not as hard as it as it sounds like though, because all this color, everything that that, that, that I'm blocking in here, um, it it a lot of it is going to be covered up. So so I'm going in and I'm just putting in areas really that that I want to have darker, that I want to have lighter. Um, but I'm choosing darker colors for the areas that I want darker and lighter colors for the areas I want lighter. <sighs> and then, um, I, I, and then, and then later I'm, I'm going to go back over it and I'll, I'll keep reforming it and reforming it and adding yeah. more detail. Does that make sense? Or Yeah, no, 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 no. It makes complete sense. I do want to say that, that I, I feel like for everybody out there watching, they're not getting the full effect for the size of this painting because oh, yeah. you, it cuts off like right, right. Like maybe like three inches past the tusk. And it and it is pretty big, like it's pretty long, and it just it's 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 forty inches tall. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, a pretty big, cool one. Yeah, it's, um, a, it's it's really big. Like the, the the top the top goes up up up. Well, you can probably see it on the one camera, but then the bottom goes way down. Yeah. Because I have I have I have that I'm kind of working it towards the top of the of the canvas, so I have the easel down on its lowest that it'll it'll go. Yeah, it's always so weird to do like a really vertical painting on these shows <laughs> i know i know i thought i thought about putting the camera way over there that way you can see like the whole camera and i'd be like hey guys oh my god <laughs> yeah. they'd, just... they'd see this scary studio that would be so scary oh yeah well, it's, a, I want, it's a mess in here i want to say really fast um greg matthews answered he said he's in minneapolis minnesota oh okay. so um and then he asked where do i go directly where do i go to directly purchase your work oh you know um Thank you so much for asking that. I, I appreciate that so much. Um, the best place to go is just my website, which is just my last name. It's bramblet.com. And um, here, like, uh, and it's it's on the um, just b-r-a-m-b-l-i-t-t.com. And um, we have tons of prints and 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 everything. And, yeah, and, all um, sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, and um, and like I was saying before, I I. Uh, well, I, I have a guide dog. I've had a guide dog before. My, the, my dog li literally saves my life, you know, and, 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 and makes my life better. And every year we, we, we work with a, a dog charity. This this year we, we work with the Guide Dogs of Texas. Um, but Which is where Eagle and Echo came from. That's yes. where where your guide dogs come from. And we, we, I mean, you served on the board. We're really close with them. So mm -hmm. they're... We love them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and we, you know, but it's sort of, it's kind of funny we're um, doing it because we, we work we work with a number of nonprofits and charities, quite a few for for visual impairments, quite a few for epilepsy, um, we we've, we've worked worked on for autism, for Dravet, for um, gosh, I don't even know. I, to be honest, like it's been it's been so many, but um, it, it started working out where like almost every summer for years now, um, we we we've, we've been doing a. Uh, um, We've been working with a nonprofit for a dog charity, you know, and it's it's funny how it always turns out that because it usually has a little name with it, like 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 the the dog days of summer, oh yeah, or something yeah. with it, you know, that <laughs> yeah. comes up, and then and then a whole year will go by, and then we're working with a different nonprofit or charity, and then and they'll be like, oh yeah, can you help us with our dog days of summer event? And we're like, that sounds so familiar, <laughs> <laughs> but it's worked out where it was we were doing it every year, and then. And now you know you know it's just sort of a thing. So it's, but. yeah, yeah, we're sucker for the dogs. Well, Barbara Franklin has joined us and is waving hello. Well, hello back. <laughs> I a, should say mm -hmm. before I forget, because I will forget that we've got to mention our sponsor. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> the jet, the jacket. You know, <laughs> this is so funny. You know, the, you know, well, you know, this is a dad day week. It is dad week, 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 weekend. Yes, sure. So it's only proper for me to brag, but I'm I'm so proud of Jack though. He is <laughs> he's he's a great kid. He's a, he's incredible. But he's been doing these really neat things where he's he's talked about making videos and stuff like. You know what's funny? Like, every, if, every, if you go and ask kids now, what 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 they want to be when they grow up? Every like, one of them. You used to be an astronaut or, or a doctor or something. <laughs> now it's a YouTuber. That's what everybody a wants YouTube to be. A YouTube star. Yeah, they want to be a YouTube star. I'm like, well, I don't really know if that pays that well. But it, I mean, I it doesn't. Some of them are like, well, well, you know. Not usually. <laughs> but, you know. But, but then I'll also tell them, follow your bliss. Or, you yeah, let, let them dream. Let them dream. So, but, so. What, but, but what I'm proud of is that he, um, he, he, he actually... Um, he downloaded like some some film e- e- editing um, so- software. Um, he set up like a lapel mic. He's got like you know he's working it's on the legit. cameras. It's he, legit. He's working on intros, outros, transitions. He's 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 like he's making like three D modeling for for um, di- different things of it, and he's learning how to cut the the video and just doing all this on his yeah. own. He's just like in his his bedroom, and instead of like playing with cars or something, you know, he's right. he, he's learning how to edit video and. I, I, I just think that's pretty cool. It's, so it's, it's he's neat when you... yeah. So he's about to upload a ton of videos to his, his channel. The deal was is that we I agreed to buy the software for him if he met his his video quota because it's all about content. <laughs> Quality comes later. Some of this is kind of <laughs> new to me, so you know. <laughs> So I, I was like, I'll buy you the software <laughs> if you meet your quota of videos. Like if you What's the quota? I mean, how he many, needs to how do many? one video a week. He oh, needs to okay. upload one video a week, and then if he doesn't do it, then he has to either pay me back or I'm just not going to replenish the, you know, license. So, I mean, he already had a couple of videos done, but so his channel is Soviet Spy Crab, I believe. It's horrible that I don't know that for sure, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, it's Soviet spy crap. Yeah, okay. I, I just helped him get the the he, he changed the the name the, of the, it. the name officially from from Jacksonian. Yeah, which to, was to always that. my my name for gaming, and that's why all his stuff is named that. And so he wanted to move away from bomb, but it was funny because he came in earlier and was in, and handed us four dollars. <laughs> he was handing me too. He handed me two. Wow, so to I was get, really, I was really like cut, cut out a little. No, bit. no, no. That's, he handed me two and you two. Oh. So he was like, you know, and then he was like, the ears, the money say, to mention my more. channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's too funny. Anyway, <laughs> Soviet spy crab, check out the channel. There um, will eventually be videos on it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, but anytime that a kid these these. This day and age is doing something other than like um, play, playing video, video games is a win, and to be honest, like that that software costs about as much as a video game, so it's kind of it's kind of cool. And he he's been learning three three D modeling. He yeah. started learning that himself about how to build all these computer designs and different things, and yeah, it's it's kind of fun. It's, it's neat. So, um, speaking of Dad's Day and kids and all that fun stuff, do you? Th- I gather some stuff. Yeah. Like, okay. So for people out there that are watching and they're kind of desperate for some quick dad day stuff, you know, you don't want to, you don't have time to special order anything. I've got some ideas. Well, you know, and it's nice too. speaking, you know, for, for being a dad, it's, I mean, you can get something from a store, but, but something that like your kids made, you know, is, is really special. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. So here are some, some ideas if anybody is desperate. Okay. I thought this was kind of cool. It's shrinky dink handprints for oh, keychains. Wow. Yeah. Really? That's cool. Yeah. So, so you can go to Michael's, you can buy one of these kits and, um, you basically just have your, the film and you can get inks. Sometimes the kits come with it, little inks that you do their, their handprint or footprint with whatever. And, um, put it on the film paper and then cook it and, you know, get a little punch hole and a keychain thing, all this stuff you can, you can buy just either Walmart or Michael's and you've got a little shrinky dink, um, handprint or footprint keychain. Another cool. thing, if you have multiple kids, you could do like a light colored handprint that's bigger and then the, the dark colored handprint on top of that. That's smaller with both the kids or something like that. So I thought that was pretty cute. So oh, that's neat. Yeah. I thought that was, I mean, I don't know how many dads want, you know, big keychain. 
thing. But I think hey, it'd be cool. You know, I you know what's funny if you is you had I, keys. I, yeah, I don't carry any keys unless <laughs> unless we're doing a show and we're using the truck. Then I usually carry an extra set of keys. That's true. You're the keeper of the keys of the truck because I've lost a pair and that was bad news bears. <laughs> bad news. Well, that I, I have a clip on it, so I just, so we know. You know, there's always at least a key clip to some and into the cash box. Yeah. And, you know, so if we're doing like a like a traveling show, we always have an extra set of keys that are literally yeah. like hooked to us that way. Hooked to your belt, yes. Yeah, that, that way it's just not a problem. There you, okay. Which reminds me, we should get another set of keys. I made. know. We say this every time we I have know, this it's conversation. Been like three years. <laughs> <laughs> Third day. Welcome to our marriage. Okay. <laughs> so, um, oh, this is cute. Okay, this is just brown lunch paper bags. And if you put two um, horizontal slits about like two inches on each side and then fold them over slightly at a, a downward, you know, 45 degree angle, it looks like a collar. And then you can put, um, you can get like a colored paper or whatever and do a little tie down the middle of it. And it looks like a little collared shirt that's been folded. Oh, it's cool. super cute. And then you fill the bag with goodies that the, that the dad would like. So, oh, that's you know, that's fishing cool. lures or um, candy, uh, I don't know, grill accessories that'll fit, picture frames. Ooh, grills. Ar, ar, yeah. Ar, ar, ar. <laughs> Stuff like that. So, ever, since, ever, since, ever since you guys gave me that grill, I've, been, I've had t- Tim, Tim the tool man Taylor <laughs> in my head. Just like, ar, 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 ar. <laughs> Every time I make it, I don't know. That's so funny. Well, I, I want to say really... I get, I get that whole show now. <laughs> right? It all makes sense. All of a sudden, I hear grunting from the backyard. Arr, arr, it's weird. Arr. It's weird. It's weird, people. Well, Shima has joined us and hey, says, Shima. hey, y'all, painting is rad. Oh, thank, thank you, Shima. It's always awesome to see you have you the best taste. <laughs> yes. Um, and I want to say that your stuff went out today, Shim. So, just so you know. Since oh. you're on here, now I'm telling you. Oh. Um, okay. So, this next one is a cute um, quick one that you can do. It's basically you can get a canvas or poster board or something like that. You draw like a, a trunk, a tree trunk, and then you get different colored um, uh, paint and you do hand prints basically all over the top like leaves. Mm. And you can frame it real quick. All Again, all that stuff's at Michael's or your local art store. And then you can go online and find like um, really cutesy stuff to write on it. Or you can just put the year and say Father's Day. So easy peasy. That um, cool. So yeah. Well, that's awesome. That was that was a cute one. Okay, and then this one I really dig because because okay, this one's a little bit different. This picture that you're looking at is actually a, a piece of silver that an artist, a jeweler makes. But I I what you can do instead is um, you can get just like Sculpey. And make a heart out of Sculpey. And Sculpey, again, is something you can find at Michael's. Um, make a little heart out of it. And then take the kid or the kid mom or multiple kids or whatever and do a thumbprint in in it to make oh. kind of like match the little heart or just put the thumbprint in it. And, um, is there a thumbprint in the silver? In this one, yeah. Wow, the how'd they do that, I wonder? I don't know. I mean, it's probably a cast. It's like, it's like, it's like you, can do it, but you can only do it once because it's going to sear the... the yeah, head. ouch. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't move it. You don't have yeah. to do this again. Sorry about your, your fingerprint. <laughs> You'll never have that again. So, no, this is probably like they did it in wax and they cast it. That's a better way to do it. That would make sense. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> but it... <laughs> no, a lot of people don't do this, and you need you, we don't have you don't have time to or, special order it. So you can get some Sculpey, put your th- you know kids thumbprint in it really fast, bake it, and then you can do you That's can cool. get like a, a you can get like a silver, you know dusting. Go over to the scrapbook section and look at the embossing silver. There's a ton of that stuff, mm. and just play with it. Yeah. I, I mean, I made little like Sculpey robots and then painted them silver, and they look like metal. So. That's cool. That's, and then a, that's a great idea. You can add, like, if you make it thick enough, you could probably add a little hole through it if you want to put it on a chain or do the whole keychain thing. Yeah, so, you know, if, if you wanted to, to resin it, too, you could. it would help hold it all, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. All, if you're, although the resin would fill in the fingerprint. Okay, well, never mind, never mind. And, and resin is a bit, if you're not familiar with resin, you don't want to just start yeah, but a it, day but before it would totally Father's fill day. in the... the, the the fingerprint, it would just look like a divot. Well, that's true, yeah. except for this picture, they've got it where they've put, like, black in it. So it it oh. almost looks like it, like it on paper, like a fingerprint. Oh, so that's it's real smart. cute. It's real okay. cute. 
So maybe if you're yeah, adorbs. Anyway, Shima said, "LOL, thank you, super stoked." So I'm excited for you to get it. Oh, cool. Okay, and then this is, I believe, the last one, and I thought this was pretty cute. (laughs) Basically, in this picture, which is kind of small, so hopefully people can kind of make it out. It's um like little picture frames, but I, what I would suggest is if you go to Michael's, you can get um, little tiny stretched canvas and then you just flip it over and you go, you, you work on the back oh. and, um, and just get, you know, some tools, a butter knife, whatever, and then give your kids some, some Sculpey, different colored Sculpey or air dry clay that, you know, you again, all at Michael's and then have them make a little portrait of themselves. Like, you use one color to make the background, and then you can kind of help them with, like, just the simple sort of circle for the face and, you know, whatever hair color is and eyes. And it's meant to be kind of silly. Obviously, they're not master sculptors, but um, That's hopefully cool. the dad would appreciate it. And it looks like a little cute portrait you can keep forever. Well, there's some <laughs> great ideas. Man. There you go, Pinterest. Thank you. <laughs> when in doubt, go to Pinterest. There you go. Man, that's that's really cool, sweetheart. Well, now you know what you're getting for Father's Day. <laughs> really? Am I, am I going to get one of those? I don't know. I don't know. Well, that would be cool. That would be really cool. I would love any of it. Well, Josie says, kind of like a shadow box. Yes. Yeah, it's it's kind of like um, I uh, next on, 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 on my bedside table, I have like a slab of clay. That's all like misshapen and crazy. And it was supposed to be a bowl, I think. And it's all crazy. Where is this thing? Oh, it's by the well. Did I move it? It was, on my, it was by my bedside table in the. Oh no, it's still there. Oh, okay, okay cool. that thing is still. I was there. gonna say, I thought I just felt it, but the way you you were the way you said it, I thought <laughs> she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> I must be the crazy one. No, that's still there. And Jack yeah. made that and. Yeah, it was, it was really little, so I mean, it's not, like, I'm not even sure what yeah. it's supposed to be, but but I love it because, you know, it's, he's, like, carved into it's it. Got it's got a nice like, glazing to it. Oh, it does, it's, yeah, it's, it's really got a nice, nice. glazing, it's yeah. Good. good, Yeah, so. And, you know, my favorite thing that Jack brought home, it's funny, too, because anybody else looks at this stuff, you're like, what on earth, it's just going to collect dust, but Jack was in art club for a year, and he brought home a, um, they, they s- <laughs> sewed donuts. Like they were just gonna, they were making their do- making donuts out of fabric, and um, he brought home this donut which I still have, and it, it it's barely sewn together. I mean, it's so floppy, and it could just like <laughs> if you handle it wrong, it's gonna fall apart. But it had little sprinkles all over it, and super cute. So of course, it's one of the. I'm not like the the hold on to the sentimental stuff type, and it's one of the things I've I've definitely kept. <laughs> I am. I am. I, 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 I'm, I'm probably a little more sentimental with that, cause like, especially when it comes to the stuffed animals and different things. You are. You're, but you're just like Jack. You guys can't throw anything away. Oh, I, I, well, I used to be that way. I don't think I'm that way anymore, but I mean, like in the, you know, I, I used to cl- keep everything in the studio. Yeah. And I would think, well, maybe I want to use it. But then you know, I got to the point where it's keeping it is more of a burden than, than get, getting rid of it. So yeah. I get rid of a lot of stuff. But there's things like that that. You you can never go to you know Amazon or Walmart or whatever and well, get, yeah. get a you know yeah so I just want to make sure that you know we don't lose <laughs> you know any any of the really good stuff right no or no. or leather vests or anything oh that's gosh really good. <laughs> leather vests oh my gosh okay so I have periodic spring cleaning purges of the house. And she gets manic, people. You can tell there's like a were, wild look about her. It was John's leather vest 80s, 80s, 1980 stage. And I was like, I mean, I've never seen, I didn't know him then. He doesn't wear, I've never seen him wear it. He doesn't care about this stuff. And so I donated it. And then like, what was it, six months later or something? It's retro, we were, baby. Oh my God. Six months later. Where's my members only jacket? <laughs> Seriously, it was a thing. Like it was like a you what? Uh, what? I'm like they were. I mean, it was like technical. There was one that was multi pattern. Like mm-hmm. I don't even know. I don't even know. It was questionable. Yeah. <laughs> not, but, not, but you missed it. Not all of them were winners. But you wanted you know. to keep them all. <laughs> well, you know what? If you get serious about a collection, you want to collect every time. <laughs> I don't know. So but, now, um, now I I have to. 
clear the clear it with you on no, but I'm, spring cleaning. But I, I'm much better about things. Like we just like you just went through and got rid of a ton of stuff in the closets, which was awesome. Well, yeah, we, we do the, this. Th- I do this. I'm neurotic a little bit. So I, I do this thing where I'll kind of methodically go through a room and then pile everything I don't want in a giant pile out in the backyard, which is terrible. I know I shouldn't do that because it just is a huge pile. And then we call, you know, Junk King or, you know, 1-800-GOT-JUNK, whatever. And, and I'm like, take it. Take it. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. want to see it again. Yeah, we have lots of big stuff, though, we were throwing. Cause we, we did a huge spring cleaning, so we have, like, big I mean, things that we're throwing. Like, yeah, like I mean, the, your like, old, like grill old grill is in the giant pile now. Yeah. So Lots of fun things. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, So Paula uh, uh, Rosendez has joined us and says, hola. Well, hola. Thank, thank, thank you so much for joining us. And awesome. um, Durian Bateman uh, did a laughing emoji. She thinks we're hilarious. I'm just going to go with that. <laughs> so how long is this painting going to take you? What do you think? Um, Three days, maybe. All right, cool. Um, it, I'm not sure. I mean, I would have it done by the end of the weekend, except we're going to um, the lake to do lake things with mom and dad. Yeah. So that may make it take longer. But <laughs> um, You don't have longer. So... What the idea with this painting is, though, is that um, I'm going to go through, like I say, like this painting goes way down. Um, so, like, so like right right here, I guess like you can see, it goes down about at least another foot or more. So, it goes, you know, way down here. Um, so, the idea for the for the, the blocking in. So, if you ever want to block in a painting like this, um, don't worry too much about getting everything right. Um, you, you have the, the, rough, um, the rough drawing. And the drawing is going to be completely covered up. I'm going to have to re redraw it all. That's 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 probably one one bad thing that slows everything down. Do it, doing it this way is that you have to make the drawing a couple of times. So the first time is really rough. It's more like oh, I want to make sure I get everything where I want it. Then um, then I cover up all the white, unless I'm going to have white there. But I usually paint it all. You know, get it all covered yeah. up. Then then I can go in and start modeling it a little bit better. You know, and making it like. Um, um, have the structures, you know, start, start fleshing them out a little bit more. Um, but, but it makes it easy way for me to do it because once I put paint on it, then it's a lot more texture, it's a lot more to feel. And then, and then, um, it's going to, it's going to make the colors underneath pop. So, so awesome. the next step, well, the first step is to get all, well, the first step is to draw it. Then to get all the white kind of covered up with the colors that, that I want behind it, that's going to give it more depth. Then the next step is going to be to, to model it out better, to refine it. Then the um, step after that is to add a bunch of low lights and highlights, so to really get the depth in the painting yeah. and to pull it out. So the highlights will kind of kind of make me think seem closer. The low lights will, will push it back, and then and then usually the final step or the next to the final step is to go back and re redraw anywhere that I want black lines. Go put that back in, and then and then usually that leads to me reworking the painting again. Yeah. Yeah, the, the black line. It's funny, too, because the minute you do the black lines, it just pops, and you're like, oh, that's cool. That's oh, that's yeah. where it's at. Well, I want to say uh, Vincent Lumsden has joined us. That's awesome. Oh, um, hey. Thanks so much for joining. Yeah. Um, he says, my wife loves uh, your paintings. I'm glad to see you painting a subject without a mask. Um, hope to see this painting for sale. So that's oh. awesome. Thanks for joining us. I will say Vincent has a... Sizable collection. Yes. <laughs> of your stuff. That's awesome. Thank you. And thank you so much for that, Vince. And um, this, 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 this painting is a commission. Um, um, but of course, you know, the way I always do commissions is that, you know, we don't ever take it down. And so the person doing the commission always has like first, first refusal. Yeah. So they have an idea for a painting and we're like, oh yes, I'm really excited about that painting. So, and then, and so I do it, but then if they say, oh, you know, that wasn't exactly what I was thinking or, um, then, at least one of us is happy. Then, yeah, then, there you then, go. Then I have that painting to sell. And, um, but. Yeah, yeah, Vincent knows the drill. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's um, for he sure. says, I hope all is well in your area of Texas. So Thank you so much. I hope, I hope everything, it is. Everything's going, I mean. I wonder how things are on the island for him. Yeah, yeah. That's Let what us I, know. I'm curious if, if all is good. Yeah. Um, and Ron Captain says, hey, guys, just got home. Hey, so Ron. Glad that's to hear you trip. guys traveled safe, and it was a blast seeing you. 
So thanks. And Vincent, if you need any help at the island, just you know making everything <laughs> sure everything is okay. Right. I, mean, I, I know, I know, I know the Caribbean can get crazy. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll come sweep the sand off your deck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gladly. <laughs> uh, and 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 Ron, um, was it yesterday they were here? Yeah. Oh my gosh! So they've been traveling all night and. I, I swear, That's I, crazy. I, I've been painting a lot. And I lose track of time. And I go, you know, I say, how, how long ago since was it that Ron and Barb were here? Was it yesterday? Is it? I know. The, the days blend together. They do. Sure. It's weird how the days, you know, and, and I, I'm going to wear out this chair painting. But um, but I hope you guys had a safe trip and aren't too tired. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and thanks for, for um, inviting me to the um, Glassware Collectors Facebook groups. That is fun. I've already oh, cool. spent way too much time looking through all this stuff. So, oh, my in word. fact, one of the groups, like their main cover, was the Star Trek glasses, and I was like, "Oh, I'm already a fan." <laughs> Man, like, uh, these are my people. <laughs> <laughs> You're a nerd. That's why I love you. Yeah. Well. Well. All this is cool. So this is just going to be a lot of working. Oh, you know what? I need is some light blue. I'm gonna put some light blue down, and then and then we might be able to call it a night for this. I know um, for for Father's Day, uh, Jackie and Jack gave me a grill. My old, my old grill was falling apart. Are you already itching to get back out to the grill? Oh, you know what I'm <laughs> gonna do? Like on, on 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 nights like this, we usually eat after after, after we stream, so it's yeah. kind of, it's later. You know, it's, it's like it's like nine o'clock before <clears throat> I start making dinner. Sometimes we have fr frozen pizzas on these nights. Um, which Jack loves. He's like, oh, you guys should stream more. <laughs> you should have more pizzas. <laughs> but, um, but tonight, though, I'm gonna fire up the wood. It's, you know, it's a pellet wood fired grill, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bake the pizzas out there, and it's gonna be yummy. Yeah. In fact, normally I get thin crust because we try to be good, but this time I got um, oh. like regular crust. Oh wow. But one of them is thin. Like I think the cheese is thin for Jack because oh. I don't know what he's always weird. <clears throat> it's weird. He says he doesn't like cheese, but then that's all he eats on half the stuff. Yeah, yeah, he, so. he loves he loves cheese, cheese pizza. That's the only kind of pizza he likes. He likes grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah. He likes some um, tacos, a little bit of cheese, but he doesn't like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't like cheese. No cheese. Oh, one thing earlier you mentioned that I wanted to just say for a second. This is completely off topic, but you did mention it earlier. Is that we do, we the only time we watch cable is for parades. Like I like watch the, watching the parades. Uh -huh. So. Um, the, nowadays, if you if, if anybody out there is like, I don't watch those parades anymore, what you need to do... The Rose Parade and the, and the Thanksgiving Day Parade? Or yes. The Macy Day or whatever? Yes, the, all those parades, they now offer them in VR. Oh, cool. And Jack and I have like kind of a ritual where we have a slumber party in the living room and then we wake up really <laughs> early and then we put the VR glasses on and we you can you're hovering over the parade and you're looking like literally 360 directions and everything so anybody out there that's a fan of the parade look into the VR capabilities cuz you can attend those parades VR style which I'm like that's so cool. Yeah, In fact, yeah I remember I remember you guys doing that last time you were like you're like, what? 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 Yeah. And they're like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like, woo, you're about to. So it was, cool. in, in fact, I want to say that it it still exists on YouTube. So you can go and watch it on YouTube in VR. That's cool. Um, yeah. So I, I want to say, I'm not sure how that technology works, but there you go. <clears throat> That's well, neat. Well, um, Anna Paula Soros <clears throat> has joined us and says, hi, guys. Well, hey. So. Thanks so much for joining us. And. You know what would be fun to do is a, is a gallery show that's in VR, you know, so, so people can go and look at all the paintings. I don't know how that would work, but yeah. I think that would be nice. That'd I know when all this COVID stuff hit, like, I was I was searching hardcore for... Oh, yeah, solve it. Solve it for me. You know, well, pff, <laughs> no, for all, you know, you, you walk through, like, you create a, 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 some sort of 3D <clears throat> room, and it, it's just not the same. It's not... You either pay for an enormous service that doesn't uh, do anything for you terribly, or it does. It's clunky. Uh, t tends to be the issue. Well, uh, Ron says we love the VR, so check the parades out. I mean, definitely this Thanksgiving, man, 
Macy's Day Parade in VR is fun. That's a fun one. Yeah, it's, that's 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 one thing that I wish I could do. You know, not, yeah. not be able to see like the VR stuff sounds incredible. I think I think I would be all about it. Yeah, I think I'd be one of those people that would have a work environment. You know, that's where <laughs> yeah. where the VR is set all day, and it's like, you know, but yeah. Well, I spent what was it like <clears throat> two hours? No, probably a little over two hours the other day trying to do the Kobe, Kobayashi Maru like ah. the. Star Trek thing, like we have a VR Star Trek game where you fly the the ship and oh my gosh, like I, you can't. There's a reason why he rigged it. You can't. That sounds really cool. I you know <laughs> I, I I I wish I could see what the VR was like, but <clears throat> one thing that sounded really interesting to me too is the um is, is concerts and whatnot where you you know where they have yeah. VR and you could be right on stage. That with would them. be cool. Yeah, yeah. That sounds especially if you could. You know, and I, I, I can only imagine, too, what it's going to be like in the future as it gets better and better, you know, because, yeah. because then you might be able to move around and do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, for sure. Maybe the concert's going on, you can go backstage, just hang out in the green room. Yeah, know. that would be awesome. That, that was the only downside of, like, the parade is is they kind of controlled which camera you flipped to. So, you, I mean, you could all constantly look around, but you, you couldn't, you're not walking, obviously. The, the, the cameras don't walk. Um, and then you don't really necessarily have any control over the camera that they choose to use. So, but they did have multiple cameras, so That's that cool. was pretty cool. Um, That'll just get better and better, won't it? I mean, I get. Well, Sheila McComas joins us. Says looks awesome about your painting. Oh, thank you. And uh, uh, Mike said uh, Macy won't be doing the parade anymore. Oh, which really? Which is crazy. That sucks. Well, I mean, is that official? I wonder, that kind of sucks. I wonder, if, I wonder if somebody else, like if they're not going to do the parade at all, or if Macy's just not going to be the, you know what I mean? Like if they're. Well, it's, it's going to have, it has, I'm sure that hmm. the, the reasoning is because of COVID, but I don't know. Oh. Well, um, Anna uh, says, I hope someday to visit you guys. Uh, I hope someday to visit you guys, or I guess for us to go to New Jersey or New <clears throat> York. Oh, she, that's oh, where she is. Oh, oh, that would yeah. be awesome. I would love that. Yeah, we, yeah. If we're ever in New York and New Jersey, we'll, we will hit you up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, we go there every once in a while. J- J- Jackie has family up there. She's yeah. up there, and uh, mm-hmm. um, and we work up there every once in a while. We, we do gigs. Yep, yep. I have family in um, Comac, New York, pretty much in mm. Long Island, sort of. Hmm. Snowbirds of sorts. <clears throat> they, you know, mm-hmm. part-time Florida, part-time New York. Um, and then uh, Josie says no riddles today. Oh no, I'm no, sorry. We just had Dad Day craft ideas. So. Yep, Dad Day crafts. <laughs> now I was putting together um, some riddles and some different things, and I thought, oh yeah, we're having the crafts and things. But yeah. on Monday though, well, I'll, I'll have, we'll we'll have a game on Monday and. It'll be zany and wacky, I'm sure, because I'll come up with it. <laughs> They're always weird. <laughs> Crazy. Well, um, uh, she, Anna says, I would love to see an exposition of your work. Um, mm. And, uh, oh, and really, I used to live in Sands Point, Long Island. Oh, cool, cool. Very cool. Um, and Mike, Mike said, um, no, it has to do with insensitivity, so it may be reformatted in some way. So, oh. well, I mean... If it exists and they change it, at least it exists. That'd be cool. Oh, that's cool. Um, I mean, I just want to see some big balloons and hover over them VR style. Yeah, really. Uh, and Kylie Sykes says, if you guys are ever in Los Angeles again, please <coughs> let me know. Oh, that's, for sure. That'd we, be great. That's another place we get to m- more often than other places. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We um. We, we are, will for sure. That sounds awesome. <laughs> the, the little dogs <laughs> under the eagle. And um, I put I put, I put eagle on, uh, up for a bit. I forgot. Oh my we didn't, gosh, we look at her. Eagle. She's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> She's upside down. Oh, is she? Yes. Eagle, I, I hear, what are I you hear, doing? Um, our, our beagle Chip, Chip has a has a jingles on her collar, so I can hear her. She's <laughs> over there somewhere. Oh, yeah. crazy pups. Anyway. Anyway, okay. So, are you? Yeah, I think I think I think I'm I think I'm gonna let this part dry for the night, and then, but I'll have more to show on Monday. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm not sure if I'll be finishing it on Monday, but um, it'll it'll definitely have a whole lot more done. If not, be ready to be done. Are you gonna take any paintings to the lake to work on? I don't know. If I do, it'll probably be this one. Really? What's that With one all the gonna... dogs? Well, I only have this one. And I have the other one that I can't show because it's. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's but, true. but but I am. Oh, you know, for, for the other paintings, I I can show them on pa- Patreon. But um, 
but I'm not allowed to show them on so, so social media. Yeah. Um, um, well, that'll be cool. I mean, you know, you should take a break every once in a while. You don't have to be in front of the Eagles until 24-7. Yeah, because we're going out for Dad's Day, and we're yeah. going Saturday, coming back Sunday, so I might not. Yeah, you should take you should take a break. So maybe tomorrow might be the – tomorrow and Monday might be the only – that would be weird, though, not painting over the weekend. I don't it kind of it kind of makes me feel like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, you are a little neurotic about like <laughs> feeling like you got to paint constantly. Um, I want to say uh, Ron uh, Sufferit has joined us and says I want y'all to know y'all make my night and like always amazing painting. Oh, that's so. Kind. Thank, thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you. Thanks thank for joining you, thank us. You. And that's so sweet. Hollering out. Yeah. And, well, darling, I guess I guess I guess we should wrap this up and then um, let let this dry. Yeah. I'm going to go fire up a wood pellet grill thing out there and make a smoky pizza. <laughs> so, you're such a nerd. No, you're the nerd, no, not I'm me. A nerd? You're a nerd. You're a grill nerd. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but ever since we mentioned the pizza, that's all I can think of. Yeah. Well, Kylie uh, Sykes says thank you. Um and thank you guys for for hanging out with us. I mean, the chat is what makes these fun. Um, Heck yeah. Yeah. So like and subscribe, share us with your friends, and all that fun stuff. And if you have you know games, subject matter, quizzes, whatever you want to talk about, let us know because we're hard up for ideas a little bit. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thanks so much, guys. Everybody have a happy Father's Day. And, yeah. And- and much love out there to everybody's dad, and, and have a great, safe weekend. Yeah. I'll see you on Monday. Thanks.